Hi guys, I'm off to you. to Michael from Monster. Today I'm going to teach you how to add your very own custom pressure plate to the game. So we're going to crack right into it. It's relatively simple, this one. And all it is is block, tin, pressure, plate. And this is going to extend block. And then it's going to be weighted pressure plate. So block, pressure plate, weighted. So that basically means that it has um, a weight and it also has a maximum weight, which I think I'm going to just put mine to 10. Uh, the material is going to be material.iron and the max one is just going to be 10 for me. That's the max weight. So if we take a look at this, um, on the current version that I'm using, it's just the max weight. Um, I'm not too sure what a default one is. Um, then you just want to do string unlocalized name in the constructor of this. And then this dot set unlocalized name and localized name. Um, we're also going to want to make this public here. Just so that we can access it outside of this package. Uh, this dot set registry name. Registry name new resource. And that's pretty much us done. Now, there's a couple of methods that we could override. Um, the first one being compute redstone strength. I mean, compute redstone strength. I'm not going to alter this, but if we take a look at the compute redstone strength, which is here, it just works out the weight from the entity. Um, now, I might alter this, I don't know. Um, Another method that you could also override is play clicks off sound and play click on sound. I'm not going to this time. I'm going to leave it how it is. And yes, yeah, so we're now going to go into our uh, mod blocks class. So we're going to add our tin pressure plate in here. And tin pressure plate e equals a new block tin pressure plate I'm going to put pressure underscore plate and I need tin actually so tin underscore pressure plate and then just register the block like normal so register block and tin pressure plate and then just register the renders so register render and that's just tin pressure plate like so. Now, um, I'm just going to refresh my resources. You can download all of the models in the description of this video and the block state so you can get your uh, block working. If you're using the normal block pressure plate, however, it will be a different model. Um, but yeah, you can get that from the default resource pack. Okay, so the game is loaded up. So if you go inside of our test world, we should now be able to try out our pressure plate. So let's go grab it from our creative menu. So over here in the blocks, we have our tin pressure plate, which you can place down. Um, and we've now got a pressure plate. It does exactly what you want it to. Thank you for watching. Don't like, comment, and subscribe. I am out.